The clever fox, many big strong animals, lived in the forest. There was the leopard, the hyena, the warthog, the lion, and the snake. And there was also the fox. Now the fox was not big and strong. He didn't have long teeth like the lion or the leopard. He didn't have poison like the snake. But the fox didn't need to be big and strong. He was clever. That was enough for him. One day, all the animals went hunting together. They hunted well and killed some camels. Then they sat down, ready to eat the meat. But the fox said, Wait, my brothers, we're all good friends now. But friends sometimes begin to fight over their food. Tell me, lion, and you, leopard, and you, snake, what makes you angry? We need to know. Then we can be careful. We won't make each other angry. That's a good idea, the lion said. Yes, it is, agreed the leopard. We agree, we agree, said the snake, the hyena, and the warthog. Please, lion, said the fox, you begin. All right, said the lion. Well, I'm a quiet, friendly animal. I don't get angry very often, but I don't sleep well at night. I like to sleep early in the morning. Don't wake me in the morning. Do you hear me, everyone? I promise not to be awakened in the morning. With a roar, the lion parted his large scarlet lips. The fox remarked, I'll remember that. Here's your turn, hyena. What enrages you? The hyena grinned. Yes, he said. You are familiar with me. I'm a good-natured creature. I don't argue with my pals. I am also very powerful. I have strong legs, a strong back, and a strong head. However, I have one weakness. I feel weak in the stomach. Don't kick me in the stomach, please. Do all of you understand? Never, ever strike my stomach. The hyena then flashed his long white teeth to the other animals. The fox thanked the hyena. I'll keep that in mind. How about you, feline? What enrages you? Me? Said the leopard. Well, you think I'm a brave, fierce animal, but I'm not. I don't like angry faces. Sometimes people frown at me and shout at me and then I'm very frightened and I start to fight. Thus, please refrain from scowling and yelling at me. Please refrain from scowling or yelling. The fox commented, that's really interesting. I'm grateful, leopard. Now it's your turn, warthog. The warthog remarked, oh, nothing frightens me. I also never get angry. Never, the fox asked. Never, the warthog replied. However, yes, the fox inquired. Occasionally, I begin to run, the warthog remarked. I keep running. I'm unable to stop. I was running really fast yesterday. Someone ran after me and spoke in my ear. I didn't like it. I hated it. It made me very frightened. Ah, said the fox. I see. Now, where's the snake? SSS, here I am, the snake said. Look, down here. On the ground. All the animals moved back. They didn't want to tread on the snake. That's good, the snake said. Don't come near me. I don't like it. And don't tread on my tail, or I'll bite you. And my poison is. Yes, yes, the fox said quickly. We know your poison's very strong, snake. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's eat. Wait a minute, the lion said. What about you, fox? What makes you angry? 
The fox responded, Of course. I'm not very strong or small, but I'm also not a child or a servant. Be cordial with me. Please treat me fairly. I'll then treat you fairly and amiably. Okay, the lion replied. I'm hungry now, too. After running to the camels, every animal started to eat. However, the warthog, the snake, the hyena, the leopard, and the lion were all swift and powerful. The fox was shoved aside to make way for them. They all ate and ate, but the fox couldn't reach the camels. He was still hungry. The lion stopped eating first. He said, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Remember, everyone, don't wake me up. He lay down and went to sleep. I'm tired, too, the hyena said. Good night. And he shut his eyes and went to sleep. The fox ran up to the leopard. Look, he said. The hyena's asleep. Why don't you kick him in the stomach? What? said the leopard. Are you crazy? He hates it. Don't you remember? Never kick me in the stomach, he said. The fox remarked, You're a big, strong leopard. Do you find the hyena frightening? You lack any bravery at all. What a coward you are. A weak, foolish coward. I'm not afraid, though. Observe me. The fox approached the hyena and gave him a stomach kick. He then trailed the leopard as he ran. The hyena instantly woke up. His eyes snapped to the leopard. Why did you act in that way? With a shout, he scowled directly into the leopard's face. That infuriated the leopard, who struck the hyena. The hyena struck him again. They got into a fight. I will murder you over this. The hyena let out a shout. The leopard stepped aside to allow him to leap in his direction. The hyena leaped on top of the sleeping lion, which was hiding behind the leopard. The lion came to consciousness. Who woke me up? he yelled. He noticed the leopard and the hyena. He instantly leaped up and murdered them both. He let out a loud roar. Permit me to go to sleep now. He began to lie down once more, but not before stepping on the snake. The snake bit him right away. I'm going to die. The lion bellowed, but I'll kill you first. And he gnawed off the snake's head. The warthog exclaimed, Oh, oh, oh. Every animal has perished. I have to get away. And he just started running. He was pursued by the fox. I'm after you. He said, I'm chasing you, in the warthog's ear. The warthog was quite afraid. He dashed up a massive mountain, crashed down, and perished. The fox returned to the meat as a result. By now, he was ravenous. He consumed a lot of food. The other animals were strong, he thought, but I'm clever. I'm very, very clever. And he smiled, and lay down, and went to sleep.